it, it's in my butt right now. Are you ready for this? Another edition of KFC Radio on the Barcelona Sports Network. It's Clancy and Feidelberg. This might be the last fucking episode ever because I'm going to fucking die, John. It is 70- And that's not jar worthy. That's, that's just, just that's fucking factual. Yes, yes. It is 75 degrees Fahrenheit in this office. It's currently 90 in New York City. It's 75 indoors. And then we come in here in this windowless fucking death box of a studio. So fucking hot. Man. 75 is, is like, I will admit, I, I like it cold. So there's, there's like some argument to be had when it's like 70, 72, and I like it to be in the 60s. When it's 75, yeah, I'm going to call OSHA. <laughs> it's dangerous fucking work ha- hazardous fucking settings I, I can't even think straight I because I'm a dumb person was excited to leave my apartment because I just figured it well, must be colder here no because <laughs> I was I, no. I can't remember a time I wasn't sweating I can't I, do this I don't know what it was I don't remember there, I, I probably maybe in the last 12 years at some point John. He's in pants and sweatshirt, John. <laughs> What's wrong with you? He's in pants and a sweatshirt. Honestly, I had it on, and then you called me out, and I feel like I have to commit now. Uh, I'm fucking starting to sweat a lot. I got this one yeah, telling me I'm overreacting. <laughs> it's 75. You're nuts. In- like, like- indoors. <laughs> 75 indoors. <laughs> Like we have air conditioning, and people are electing to, to put in 75. They're putting on the heat. <laughs> I, I I don't know what I'm going to do this summer. I don't know either. I don't know what I'm going to do. How are I'm, we going to get through a summer in this? I, hopefully we just get another pandemic. Oh, please, God, send just, me home. We all, we all Give me COVID home. right now. <laughs> what am hopefully, I going to do? Hopefully this second strain plays for keeps. <laughs> just fucking take me, man. Oh, shit. <laughs> What are we gonna do? How are we gonna how are we gonna do this? I don't I honestly don't know how we're even gonna talk about anything else. I, I <laughs> this is gonna be a full it, two hour it, podcast it just, just about how ridiculous like this we, is. If we don't talk about the heat for the whole time, we're just ignoring the elephant in the room. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it, it's, it's the crazy. only thing I can think it, about. It, 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 it would be like the early ep- early COVID episodes where it's like, I know I, we, we were trying to talk about like pop culture and stuff, but it's just silly. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the heat in the Barcelona <laughs> office. <laughs> She's telling me it's normal or something. Can, can everybody just comment below if they're being dramatic? Because they're telling me that I'm not, and they're we oh are God. not being dramatic. Oh you want to see me get yeah. dramatic? We'll get dramatic. I will do this show naked. That would <laughs> be, that dramatic. be dramatic. <laughs> I promise you this. I will. I promise you this. If by fucking what's the date? If I actually don't even know if doing the show naked would be dramatic. It wouldn't. It, it's so it hot. It wouldn't even do anything. It, it might help. be the only logical thing to do. It wouldn't even help. I don't think. We need short of getting those things that NFL players have on the sidelines where it just shoots mist at you. I don't know what we're gonna do. If it doesn't get better by June 21st, I'm gonna fucking kill myself on camera. I'm gonna fucking. You know what? We'll put a five spot in on that one. I will kill myself live on fucking camera on this podcast if they don't fix the. Heat by June 14th. Bud Dwyer, take a back seat. It's Kevin Clancy time. Oh my God. And I might not even have to kill myself because I might just die today. <laughs> it, like, what I, are we going to do? I am. I uh, My body right now could just be described as sticky. I, I just have a thin coat of sweat. I'm like a child. I, have, I haven't been this sticky since, like, I don't know, I was in preschool. <laughs> just, and, 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 then, and then there's the girls out there wearing, like, sweaters and shit. I'm like, what? If you, I swear to God, if you go, go do this right now. Go just stand inside and then take a, a step out. Okay. It drops 22 degrees. <laughs> it's it's insane. You can feel. It feels like you're dr- you're you're jumping through a time portal. Uh, 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 you transfer to like Alaska. I can already feel it over here. Watch this. Watch this. Step outside. You're gonna feel so great. <laughs> oh, it's amazing, right? This is beautiful. So here's here. what I thought. Here's my idea. That right there is our key. That vent. So we need to fashion some sort of tunnel that we hook onto there that just tunnels it into here. 
A funnel. <laughs> we need a popcorn funnel, an air conditioner funnel. I was thinking like a hose, like one of those. Yeah, that's how about that. how a tube, about a tube? We need a tube instead of instead of you know killing yourself in the garage. It just gets it colder. Yes, <laughs> yes, that's exactly as if we were gonna do the CO two like carbon monoxide suicide, but we're just pumping cold air in here. Yes, how that's it. Like and a, if it's carbon monoxide, so be it. I have just like a portable AC in here. Sure, get on it. Get on it, producer. Get on it. I have. My girlfriend has this thing that she wears in our house, and it's it's insane. It's it's an absolutely insane thing, and I'm gonna steal it. And I'm gonna start. Was it just like a, like a, like, no, a, like a, no, Kevin? It's a necklace that has two fans on it. I've seen this. <laughs> I saw this on Fat Kid deals, and I almost bought it right then and there. Now I'm definitely gonna buy it because I'm literally sweating at my place of work. And you know what? I really feel bad for the girls who have to sit at their desk, and maybe they're this 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 office is very patchy. This office is like the goddamn Atlantic Ocean. Sometimes it's like 40 degrees, sometimes it's like 80 degrees. You go through these patches. Sometimes it gets hot and cold. And I feel bad for the girls got to sit there right under the AC. But I'm on camera fucking looking like a sweating fat pig every time. It's it's insane. Look I, at this thing though. This, this, thing. this office is like a pool and our, our studio is We've somebody peed somebody peed it. It. Yes. Yeah. Exactly that. You're just swimming through the hot pee section. Let me find this thing because I believe this took it a step further and I think it was like mist. I don't even think it was a fan. I think it was like cold water almost. Oh, well, that's come on, I mean, this is come on, fat kid. Now, Where now is you're it? living luxuriously. Yeah, I mean this thing is unbelievable. Fat kid deals is almost almost getting getting too much here but yeah whatever it is we're buying it we're yeah. doing it because it's we, we just we just started doing this podcast with two of us we're wearing fucking fans as necklaces <laughs> I, I don't even know why you're laughing because it's it's the only here it is here it is uh no it is air i thought that was maybe water but yeah oh wow no yeah. that's that's more high tech. Her, hers is very low tech it it's is literally two fans. it looks like a flavor flaves necklace okay. but it just has oh, a so fan. it hangs down here yeah this no, one, no 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 they're, they're both here but they're just like they're just fans. It's, it's two yeah. fans. This yeah. is this is a it, this almost looks like a pair of headphones, yeah. but you put it around your your neck and then air just blasts all along. I'm gonna buy two right now. Me and you, John, we're getting these fucking things. Fucking do it. Sorry, we can't find that page. Uh. Fucking Amazon. <laughs> it's like the world just wants me to goddamn die. <laughs> Portable neck fan. We're searching it. I mean, this how is, else are we gonna talk about anything? This, this, this is the podcast that we shop on Amazon. <laughs> All right, here's another one. We're getting to portable neck fan. Oh, this is this is a, a, a headphone as well, I believe. <sighs> yeah, let's buy this bitch. Yeah, those are the ones she has. It's I mean, they're absurd. They're absolutely absurd. We sit on the couch and she just sits there with two fans in her face. It's nuts. I bet she's feeling great though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet she's fucking feeling great. <laughs> Sign in. Of course, I'm already a fucking customer. I'm logged in. Jesus Christ. <sighs> I, I already do. I already need a break. I think. Seriously, we're gonna have to do this. We're gonna have to do this in like five. Minutes. You're sweating. Like you. No, you I'm are not. visibly sweating. You're I'm glistening. Just yeah, glistening, Jackie. <laughs> Don't you? I'm gonna. This is. You ever see uh, bridesmaids? Uh, yes. When 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 they go to the Brazilian steakhouse and then everyone's sick <laughs> and she's pretending she's not. She's like, I feel. <laughs> I feel great. That's gonna be Jackie. She's putting her hair in her She's gonna be like, I feel totally. I'm cold. I'm totally. I'm just. I'm not freezing. Bro, you are. I'm, well, now I'm fired up. Now I'm red. Now I'm it's sweating. It's like, like it's. I can see it dripping down your neck. The only option. It's the only option. That felt great. Actually. Yeah, it was, that was ice water. It that looked. Felt real it good. looked pretty good. <sighs> <laughs> if I could, if I could just have a permanent ice water pouring on me, then maybe. I yeah, could yeah, do this yeah. podcast. It is, it is like it's just <laughs> oh unbearable. Oh, I felt so good. So good, right? Oh, oh. hey. hey. <laughs> uh. I'm just gonna keep doing. It. <sighs> oh yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Josh just came. Oh man, we're either gonna die or come. I don't know what to do. We're gonna be coming and then die. I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> well, the podcast is brought to you by New Amsterdam podcast. <laughs> New Amsterdam, the official, the official vodka of summer here on the surface of the sun at Barstool Sports. New Amsterdam is distilled 50 times or some shit. Tastes great. 
We owe it. We owe Pink Whitney to it. We owe. We owe. Every, we, I mean, this show has been funded by it. We've done all our sponsored videos and podcasts. We've done everything uh, here in the past couple of years because of doing Amsterdam vodka. So pay them back if you like Barstool. I actually, I almost like. I want to keep this puddle here. It's like, <laughs> it's like keeping me cool. It is a little cooler, right? Uh, man, oh, this is filthy though. This table here. is disgusting. Maybe not. Anyway, New Amsterdam. <laughs> yeah, that's why I got rid of it because it's starting to get like colors here. I don't know what that is. I that's, just yeah, it's like milky. Right? Yeah, I just got out of the shower. Like it's not. <laughs> do you have Do you have product in your hair? I no. I was worried maybe my I have like the Fleischmann stuff coming out of my hair. All I know is that. That 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 scared me a little bit. Yeah, that's why I keep wiping it away. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, can they see that on the camera? I hope not. Um, it's a really good thing you guys aren't being dramatic about this. <laughs> <laughs> it's entertainment, Jackie. Look it up. <laughs> talk about. We'll talk about who the most dramatic person is in this show. It's fucking you. <laughs> Ow. So we'll, go, we'll go through some of those tweets soon. Uh, but New Amsterdam vodka is great. Whether you want to make a cocktail out of it, whether you want to drink it straight, whether you want to drink some Pink Whitney, whether you uh, whether you're drinking at the pool, at the beach, on the links. Uh, whether you're doing um, the golf course, whether you're mixing it up to Thank do Barcelona trans, uh, a four play transfusion, whether you uh, any which way you're drinking vodka, it's it, it's got to be New Amsterdam because it really is the perfect blend of uh, quality vodka with also affordable. Uh, affordable price and uh, like I said everybody here at Barstool and everyone in the NHL drinks it so you should too so go get that New Amsterdam vodka I've drank for the summer. too much New Amsterdam vodka the last few days yeah I feel like it's been uh, quite the the run for you sucks uh, <laughs> the Bruins and the Islanders are are the the we got a lot to talk about we'll talk we'll talk about the the Logan Paul Floyd Mayweather we'll talk about Lana Rose and Kevin Durant what oh yeah oh yeah Perhaps, maybe. You want to talk about that first? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah I just first. want to know about it. <laughs> okay. So I did one Minuteman today, and I was Pepe Sylvia. I was like, <laughs> Coley, Coley set me off in the right direction. Coley did a lot of work, too. I feel like me and Coley are like Rustin, Rustin Marty on this one. <laughs> so I see Coley's blog saying, Kevin Durant brought a backup girl on a date with Lana Rhodes. I was like, what? So Lana goes on her podcast and tells a story about how she went on a date with an NBA ball player and he brought a another girl as a backup plan B. Like at the table with them? So as Lana describes it, they went um, <laughs> what? They went they went to the game. Uh, and then after the game they all went out and uh, she's like so there was a bunch of us cuz it wasn't just a one-on-one -on -one date. It was like Lana and all her girlfriends and I'm assuming KD and maybe a couple other guys on the Nets or some of his friends. And so they split up into two cars. She's in the car, I believe, with KD, and there's two more spots in the car. And KD, like, sp like, oh, again, it's all allegedly KD. We think he pulls up, picks up two girls, and brings them along. And they all just go to the date together. They all sit at the table together. Lana then tells a separate story, but she's like, "This isn't the first time it's happened to me. Another time, I went out with this guy, and he straight up said to me, "I brought my fuck buddy for the last year." on the date in case things don't work out with you. And she's like, and now it happened again. So we can assume that's what Kevin, Dur that's what the player was doing this time around as well. Why now, don't you just call the fuck buddy later? Like, wouldn't that be the logical let, thing? Let me, let me finish telling the story and then we'll talk about how insane okay. the moment is. Now, when Lana was on BFF's pod about a month ago, or like April-ish, she was, she was like, we're, in, we're all in Miami and last night, I was with a guy who's also in town here, a basketball player who's in town. So th we look at the schedule. The Nets were in town. So okay. at first, she just said, I was in New York at a basketball game. So we're like, it could be the Nets. It could be the Knicks. Who knows? Now, you cross-reference to the BFF's appearance and the NBA schedule. You, know, you now know that the Knicks are out. Also on the BFF's pod, Dave is, is like, so what was going on with you and that guy? out in Miami last night and she was like oh he's just some dude he's just an HVAC worker he's nobody famous like laying it on thick that like obviously he was and Dave's like an HVAC worker yeah who did you pull that out of I, somewhere huh right I was, <laughs> I, I was stunned that Lana's dropping HVAC that's reference. a good reference but she also I mean she never ceases to surprise you know what yeah. I mean she's she's lived a million lives so Dave is like we're gonna play this game because I know the guy like I could text him right now like I was gonna try to have him come on this show and she's like, no, don't. And he's like, uh, this is bad. Like, when I know something, I want to put it out public. Like, we can't, 
you know? So I started to think it's Blake Griffin. He's done pizza reviews. He's yeah. been part of my take. Like, and he's fuck Kendall Jenner. He's been on parties. Kendall. That would be a good one. Uh, yeah. Blake and Lana make sense. Then fast forward back to the podcast appearance that her own podcast, three girls, one kitchen. She starts to go on about astrology signs and she's like, and the reason I knew this wasn't going to work or whatever is because this guy's a Virgo. So shout out to Coley. He goes to basketball reference, pulls up the entire Nets roster and all of their birthdays. Lo and behold, there is a single Virgo on the team. Shut up. Kevin Durant. Wow. Now, I mean, that's uh, this isn't even a rumor. This is just what, ah, this right? is what happened. Now, now, but also, then I started to think my initial reaction was like, But are you saying, like, is he the dad? Oh, okay, that's where we're going. So okay. I, I don't that's think, what I thought you meant at first. I don't think so, only because Lana's point of her story was like, once this dude brought a backup girl, I was like, fuck you. I'm not yeah, I'm yeah, fucking yeah. you again. And it sounds like the dude who she's having a kid with, like, she, I have heard there's like, they're together, kind of. So I think, but you know, for the one minute man drama, of course, I was like, Coming to Red, it's Lana Rose's baby daddy. <laughs> but, um, but, uh, my first reaction was like, I think of Kevin Durant as like asexual. Like, I feel like he is an alien put on this planet to just play basketball and talk shit on Twitter. <laughs> I can't see him like wooing a girl and being romantic. And I can't even see him fucking. He's so like long and He's, lanky yeah. and shit, right? Like, imagine he could be, he'd be, he'd be like fingering you from across the room. <laughs> but then I remember those tweets. I want to drink Scarlett Johansson's bathwater. Erica Badu's thicker than a kindergarten pencil. So I was like, all right, maybe he's got. You know, what? I haven't seen that yeah, one. Yeah. Those, those, those fat fucking pencils. Yeah. yeah, I didn't use them in kindergarten, though. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, he needed to be – he got the horny bonk back in the day on Twitter. <laughs> so maybe he is the type to, like, want to fuck. So. I, I am actually just now just imagining Kevin Durant fucking. Think about it. It's a little strange. So weird. Like, he wouldn't, wouldn't match it's up just at too all much, with any It's of the just heights. too much body. Way too much. It's like uh, – Limbs. In, in Sunny when they're talking about uh, – Cutting up sweet tea, yeah. and they'd be like, like, "How many, how many people did I kill?" Like, <laughs> I mean, like Durant, if you're fucking right, you'd be like, "How many people am I fucking right now?" <laughs> I mean, an orgy. No, you're just backing Kevin Durant. I mean, you'd have to. I imagine. mean, Kevin Durant has eleven penises. I was gonna say his dick has to, his dick has to match his other limbs. That dick has gotta be. Well, I just like he just got like a. Uh, like his fingers and his toes are all dicks. There's a porn I've seen before where it's just like it's like Edward, it's like penis Edward hands. Scissor, Edward penis hands, and like that's just I mean, Kevin Durant's finger, Kevin Durant's fingers are bigger than my dick, so Definitely. he's got eleven dicks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's look for that by the way. Edward like, penis. Like hands. Kevin Durant's hands are probably double the size of my dick. His fingers. I mean. <laughs> I've actually never thought about that until right now, and it's very disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> like, everyone in the NBA just has a bunch of my penises. Bro, here it is. <laughs> Ed, Ed, Edward penis hands. Let's see. 73 minutes long. <laughs> it's like a full feature film. Hey, we'll watch the full thing. Yeah, I was going to say. It's too hot. We can't do the podcast. We're just going to watch Edward penis hands, folks. I mean, let's see what this has got. Do you not know this? No. Yeah, it's horrifying. Is this it? Uh, I mean, this uh, is like a full look, fucking feature. I don't feature. know what the intro's like. I just know what Edward Penis Hands looks like. Yeah. He's a guy with a bunch of penises on his hands. <laughs> <laughs> well, this yeah. is this is one giant penis for a, for a finger, for a hand. Oh. Mm. So rather than having 11 penis, uh, 10 penises, okay. he has two giant dicks for hands. Okay. Nope. Nope, this isn't the one, and I don't like it. <laughs> like, he's just, she's <laughs> sucking it right now, and he's just, are you going to puke from this, you yeah, pussy? I think so. That makes you puke, a guy with a dick hand? What if that was just a girl holding a dildo? Relax, pussy. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. <laughs> but, must be rough to be this guy. You're just like, God damn it. As this girl <laughs> has to deep throat this fucking yeah, thing, like, must be rough to be the guy? Yeah. I think he's like, because you got a penis in your pants. You're like, I wish you was just you sucking that. that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm sure they're going to get there. Instead, you got this. No, I bet they don't. Oh, that's weird. His, like, his like wrist is like a ball sack. Yeah. Uh, it, uh, <laughs> what, the, it's not. Now he's, got, now he's got both out there. <laughs> but the ball sack's also just like one gigantic ball. <laughs> this is... This is, this is tough. This is horrifying. This is scarier than regular. This is this seems like a, almost like a hospital porn. Yeah. Like, like like Oh, there it is. The regular dick came out. Ah, too. good yeah. for you, bud. Yeah. 
He looks like he's about to die. This whole thing is very strange. Anyway, <laughs> Lana Rhodes. <laughs> Kevin Durant. I just – I would have bet my life it was Blake Griffin. Oh. Um – you know, like Blake Griffin fits. I, I didn't realize Dave knew Durant like that. I like don't think so. Him. I knew either, but I guess after the, the Rappaport thing happened, they, they were in contact. Dave uh, knows everybody right. now. Like, yeah. That's the thing. <laughs> you really got to, like, shift your, you know, it's not Dave anymore. It's, like, this new celebrity. Mm -hmm. So maybe, like, he doesn't know him, but he's got his number. He was like, yeah. I can text him, like, that sort of shit. So, yeah, some fucking big-time juicy gossip. <laughs> All with you know NBA schedules, Instagram schedules, podcasts, and, uh, and astrology, astrology signs. Yeah, astrology the Virgo was the, really that, the key. Yeah, that was that the Virgo was like the smoking gun. That like you know that was uh, that was the the mayor of East Town. That was the the, the, the gun in the shed. <laughs> it was you know? the Winston's. Yeah, yeah, the Winston cigarettes <laughs> was was the Virgo. It's it's unbelievable. Uh, back to you. Um, and what is the second most? electric game on the planet in in uh playoff hockey playoff hockey is it's it's sickening what it does to you you know i can't even imagine being you guys it's it's, it's, it's one of the great <clears throat> one of the greatest tweets on twitter is about playoff hockey what's that it says uh what is it why watch playoff hockey when you can snort cocaine and ride a Ride a motorcycle out of a helicopter instead, <laughs> <laughs> and yet and still it is. It's still the uh, second most electric game of all time, uh, because CrossNet game exists. CrossNet, CrossNet, bro. It's the world's first four square volleyball game. Oh, I see what you did here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Foursquare 2.0. So do you remember playing Foursquare as a kid in recess? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now you take that, but you also play volleyball with it. So rather than just bouncing it oh, around. Oh, fuck. No, I played this last summer. Yeah. We, we, we've played the, I used to play this in gym, gym class with a gigantic ball. Like, I'm talking <laughs> a huge, I don't even know what this ball was for. It was like, it was like triple an exercise ball. But it also weighed like a hundred pounds. <laughs> like it took like a whole, like we would split up in our whole gym class into four sections. It's like James Harrison with the medicine ball. Kind of. It, yeah. it took like twenty people like pushing it over the net. It was crazy. Obviously, you can't do that. But cross net uh, will allow you to play in sand, grass, or even on concrete. Or you can set it up in the pool if you're over at Stu Finer's house and you want to get a little cross net in uh, while you're swimming. Uh, so they got the H2O model. That's perfect for the water. It's portable. You can carry it in a backpack. Uh, and even like professional volleyball players are fucking with it. Like it's it's actual uh, equipment to play volleyball, like the real deal game. But now you can turn it into uh, a four like a four square thing where you can have multiple people involved. You can take it seriously and play competitively, or it's easy enough to play like when you got a beer in your hand and you're trying to play uh, at the tailgate or in the backyard or on the beach or whatever. Over a hundred thousand have been sold worldwide. Uh, it's an intramural sport at some colleges. <laughs> that is a game I would fuck with in college. <laughs> I'm always like, why play sports in college? Just like it, it, it just ruins your time unless you're gonna like make it to the league, you know. Yeah. But UNC, FSU, uh, so shout out to the Seminoles. Uh, Seminoles, that, you, you can play intramural cross net right now. Uh, no matter what skill level you're at, as long as you're looking to have some fun and enjoy the new, the best new summer game, guys, girls, young, old, everybody can do it. So now uh, follow along on social at cross net game, and uh, go get your cross net for the summer. It's the best game right now, and you can get 20 bucks off your next purchase when you use promo code KFC. This actually sounds pretty fucking fun. We should get – I don't think I'm down to play many games anymore, but I think I'd fuck with a little, a little – I, I already have it. Yeah. Well, I said I played yeah. a lot of games. Yeah, my, I played it at my house yeah. last summer. I have this game. So go to CrossNet, use promo code KFC, and get 20 bucks off your edition of the game. Um, that's if you survive, though, because – I actually feel like you are a seasoned vet of this. I'm more worried about Frankie's survival on multiple levels. Like, whether it's violence, whether it's a heart attack, I, whether it's suicide, he'll come here and put his fucking... Yeah. We'll put his whole head in this jar, okay? <laughs> um, Frankie is... Frankie's doing something. P potentially. He's done it a couple times in a, on a small level with the two wins here. But we'll see how this series goes. Frankie's doing something that... I think everybody at Barstool has like longed to do and that's like take on all of boston yeah. <laughs> like you, like like philly beat uh the patriots in the super bowl mm -hmm. 
Uh, so there's been there's been times where, where Boston has faltered, but never that with like the right cast of characters in the right setting for a seven game series. Like game watches, you know, we we talked earlier about how over the course of a series you like get to know your opponent, you hate each mm -hmm. other, and all this shit. And the fact that he's doing it all alone, I think I have like survivor's guilt for Frankie. I'm like I think I should be there as like even a fake pseudo Islanders fan. Just seeing him all alone, but then it also makes it so awesome. I didn't know how hard he was going to go. Oh, he's going hard. Like, I, I, I figured in Boston he might be like, not cheapish because I know Frankie. I know yeah. Frankie's not cheapish. Yeah. But I figured, like, I did not expect him to stand oh, up on a, t yeah. on a chair. Went, tell suck everyone. my fucking <laughs> dick. <laughs> ah! Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you and fuck all of you! Not my fucking dick! Like, like, like now I, I'm gonna have to go that hard. Well, at, I was gonna say, so what, yeah, now you gotta like take your dick out. Yeah. You might have to actually have to, suck I've, your dick. I have to fist fight Mr. Broly tonight. <laughs> Imagine if you just pow, just punch an old man in the face, like sorry, I had to do it. I mean, the, the, the atmosphere. Frankie, by the way, what Frankie's doing right now is one of the craziest, like, runs. The back, the and, back and forth. He, he left. He went. 2-2-1-1-1 two, two, one, one, one has never fucked somebody worse than no. Frankie Brelli, right? <laughs> he, I mean, he was taking 715 trains every morning after the stream was back to New York. And then he, he had, like, he had, had family affairs to deal with. He had to get back for Borelli's. He's got to get back to Boston for Dave's. He is, like... I mean, he's. That's what I'm saying. He might fucking just die of exhaustion. Yeah. <laughs> he, and I'll tell you what. Like, like when, I'm, I'm exhausted, and I haven't done half of the what travel. He's doing, yeah. Right. I cannot. I mean, I guess I can believe, but I cannot really comprehend how every stream there is someone, not from Barstool, who is just the most unlikable person <laughs> in the world. For, I don't know who's worse, chess poke guy or tank top guy. I don't know who's chess poke guy. So chess poke guy was the game before when Frankie, when they, I think it was like the overtime goal. I think it was like when they won. Can you pull up chess poke guy? He, Frankie. I, I like making up, a like point to not like look, look at yeah. anything I, else. I was, gonna, I, I was gonna say, you might not even know. So chess poke guy was the only other Islanders fan, which is why it's funny. He was actually like had Frankie's back, but Frankie was giving like his speech, like his, he had, was having his moment and chess poke guy was right in the front just going like pointing at his chest being like you're the man you're the man like fuck fuck but it was like dude you're ruining the moment <laughs> like fucking take a hint man it was so bad that he couldn't just get it through his thick fucking skull that like you are not what the audience is here for you're not like you're not it right? yeah, yeah yeah and then and then the tank top guy the next, the next uh, tank thing, top guy like i did know fucking, about i mean he just looked like uh just a boston skull you know just people like, kept saying i looked like him like I got, I got, say, I, saw I got added in a like few a, of them. Like a mix of you, it was like you and RA or something like that. It did have like a bizarre. I didn't see that at what, all. Uh, that that he looks more like RA, and I love yeah. the, the way that Wit like Wit said uh, he treated it like my son when he's in the back seat saying, "Are we there yet?" He leaned back and said, "That," <laughs> and the guy just shut the fuck up real quick. Do you not have chest poke guy? I'm trying to find it. I, it's not on. Chess poke was was equally as bad. Like like the tank top guy was was brutal only because he just looked like absolute trash, you know. <laughs> but chess poke guy was like you're ruining what what could be a a very like cool live stream moment, and it was just like you know because these guys come and they just get shit faced, and so the Islanders had just tied it, and it's this guy in the in the hat in the that t khaki hat. <laughs> and he just stays there and he just keeps doing it like, it's like stop, yeah there's another 30 dude. seconds of this yeah and i was like you are the worst man <laughs> nobody's here for you you know so every time there's somebody in the crowd that you just want to absolutely murder with your bare hands yeah, yeah. I, I i've gotten multiple texts being like how have you not fought blank person yet and i'm always like i don't know what you're talking about so well I, I also are I you just, are you are you shit face for these uh or are you just in the zone 
I mean, when you're doing no TOT, you're you're not feeling any pain. You're not, <laughs> yeah. You've got to be several several deep for no TOT <laughs> with a fucking uh, with a, uh, a microphone taped to your chest. <laughs> yeah. I would have to assume you're drunk then. That one was drunk. Yeah, yeah. I it's been it's been a, a mixed bag. Okay. Sometimes I'm shit faced. Sometimes I I'm feel not. like you really kind of are in your own world because sometimes I'm like, man, I, I think Feinberg might like murder that guy, and then there's it's like. It's funny. It's just two doors down with like Frankie, but it's like you're in different worlds. Yeah, almost, you know? <laughs> yeah. I haven't talked to Frankie on the stream. I don't think right, once. Right, right. Just you have a little enough barrier. <laughs> Look at you, <laughs> and the nerve of you saying that those hands are normal. That's just a hard high five, bro. <laughs> that hoof of yours looks like it's infected or something. It looks like you ate a bag of Cheetos. It looks like you want like like a girl who put on self tanner and doesn't know like wash yeah. her hands off. You, know? <laughs> you look ridiculous, sir. And, and and somehow, some way, you were like more in control than Rear Admiral. Yeah. Oh, Rear Admiral. Rear Ads. Rear Ads was had no idea the game even ended. He, he did he, not. He was like, that's not even a joke. He yeah. didn't. He, he didn't know. Yeah. That's just, overtime such that's just goal the whole bar going crazy rear ads didn't know he what happened. had not realized that the goal was had been scored <laughs> <laughs> now to be fair it was like a soft goal and i think it took by everyone by surprise but he was so shit-faced he didn't know that the game had ended <laughs> oh yeah. and some of these i don't know how they're like the lighting the camera the whatever this is the pictures that are coming out of it are un yeah they're very good pictures the one of frankie standing there like jesus goddamn christ <laughs> yeah. thanks for having me boston but have you seen like the hype video they made where it's like all it's all of the game so far put into into one for Frankie <laughs> with that smirk and and I love Granelli and Marina at his footstep at his feet like just fucking miserable uh there's like a hype video if you go to Gren uh, uh Frankie's page it's like uh you know a dramatic like movie trailer with all of his moments put together it's, who makes these videos I don't know I'm not sure that one yeah yeah right <laughs> who the fuck made this I know just like give it a fucking Oscar some of the faces he makes are <laughs> <Yeah>. like. It's incredible. It's it's it's. I think it's one of the greatest. Uh, he, what he's doing, I mean, all things considered, like how he's doing it all alone, it's one of the best storylines in martial history. <laughs> at, and at this point, the series has gone long enough that, like, win or lose, it's going to be memorable. Yeah. yeah if they yeah. win, obviously, like, forget about it. He's going to be, and he's the perfect character for it. Like, I don't think anybody else could could do it. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. It, 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 it's what you're what he's doing, and somehow. Still being like the 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 the, the favorite, like likable. Yes, like it's yeah. still like that's it's, how big of fucking assholes you guys yeah, are. Like, like, like he, I still like him. Right, right. I mean, he he is. That's why I said if you're not a Bruins fan, you have to be rooting for the, uh, Frankie and the no. Islanders, right? Like who's well, rooting yeah. for the Bruins, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I saw somebody saying like, uh, you know, this is stupid. Like he should be at the game instead. I'm like, oh no. No, yeah, no, no. I mean, like Frankie celebrated at the barn would be great, but you're not gonna get like these kind of moments, like no fucking way. You I know? mean, he definitely wants to be in the game. Sure, like, yeah, he's and gonna, you know, it's. He's, I also, it's, it's so fucked up with how, how we're doing it, how we're always in the opposite. Like, yeah. I don't, I don't even know where tonight's game is. <laughs> I don't know why we're doing it this way. I mean, you're in Boston when it's in New York. It's in Boston, you're in New York right? When it's in Boston, yeah, you're at Pirelli's, but yeah. well, well, I know I'm at Pirelli. I, I didn't think I was making it to Boston for tonight. <laughs> but <laughs> be real yeah, fucked. But we're like, why everything's backwards? It's all it's we're in the upside it's, down. It's incredibly confusing. I, I can't also, make sense of it. Frankie loses his mind, and I'm not talking about his excitability. He says things. Did you hear when he said he would suck business foreskin? <laughs> no. He goes. He goes. He was like, if the Islanders win, I'll suck Biz's foreskin. <laughs> and Grinelli was like, whoa, like, that was too much. And then Frankie's like, and he like calms down. He's like, no, 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 I'm serious. <laughs> like, you know the little bit of skin? I will suck it. And then he goes, and then he then he goes. Wait, did the Islanders win that game? I, I'm not even sure. <laughs> and then he goes, after it's been detached. Like, I was like. Why do you keep uh, making this worse? You're the just, only one doing this yourself, you know? Well, to be fair, that's basically Calamari. Oh! <laughs> oh my God.
If I had said that to you, you would puke. That's unfair that you can say that to me and nothing happened. But I said to you and you'd puke. I mean, he, he's just out of his – how about when uh, you guys scored your first goal last game? It, it might have been disallowed. Like there might have been something there, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And he was like – he goes – I hope that this goal is disallowed, and if it is, I'm going to fuck all your mothers. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Just illogical <laughs> ravings of a madman, and I fucking absolutely love it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, <laughs> where, where, fuck all your mothers. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, when he goes home, what do you think, like, Mama Varelli says? Like, how, how's, how's work, honey? I saw you on the live stream. I saw you tell the whole town of Boston to suck your fucking dick. How's work? <laughs> He's uh, but the thing is, like, he does that with his mom in the room. I know that's true. That's true. Like, I mean, she's I mean, Apparelli. She, just, she, she knows games. the lifestyle. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, somebody win or lose. It's actually crazy. Like I, I got he doesn't have, and I, I guess maybe I would be the same way. Like if I was with my dad, but like with Mister Pirelli, I don't fuck with him. Like I, I, I yeah. I've, I've tried to be on my best behavior when I'm at Pirelli's. Right. Whereas Frankie is just like. The exact opposite. Well, but it's like home to him. Yeah, you know right. what I mean? It's like being in his own living room, you know? Uh, win or lose, I think everybody who's involved in these is going to need some therapy. You're all, <laughs> you're all going to need to go to better help. Maybe maybe before the game, you guys should live stream a fucking better help <laughs> therapy session. <laughs> Put the therapist on the big screen, and he can he or she can just do all of you guys one by one. Like you funnel, uh, file in and out of the room, be like, okay, you're a Bruins fan. Tell me what you're going through. How, uh, how are things going with you? <laughs> Not great. <laughs> better help is uh the best way to do modern therapy meaning you don't have to be in person you don't have to go to a doctor's waiting room office you can just do it over the computer meaning you can do facetime uh, videos you can do it just over the phone you can even text with a therapist uh thank you um and get through i'm thinking about yeah <laughs> yeah 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 this one's real cold too yep <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh my god so cold. <laughs> Better help is uh, for anybody who's struggling with something, or if you want to just do your daily maintenance <laughs> and, and keep your brain sharp, keep your emotions in check. Uh, at this point in the game, there's no more stigma or taboo. It's not taboo. It's mental health. Same way you go to the gym and work out your body, you got to go to a doctor and work out your brain as well. Uh, and BetterHelp offers that customized online therapy so that it's affordable, it's easy, and you can do it in a timely fashion. You can get to your therapist in under 48 hours when you when you go over to BetterHelp right now. That is that's the key. It, it really is it because is. when you find a, like you know find someone in your plan and then you gotta talk to them and then you gotta work with their schedule. And next thing you know, they're like, "All right, uh, I can see you next month." <laughs> uh, so you go to BetterHelp.com. B e t t e r h e l p dot com slash kfc and you get 10 percent off your first month uh that's b-e-t-t-e-r-h-e-l-p dot com slash kfc logan paul and uh and floyd mayweather was this weekend and um i'm 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 kind of into this this little conspiracy theory that floyd knocked him out and held him up oh i don't think it's a conspiracy theory yeah well no. I, I, it's i so there's a video floating around. Uh, it's just this one video, and nobody else has like an, a longer version where you see before and after. But this guy caught uh, a shot. Nobody saw it in real time. It was social Not media the next all. day. Nobody saw it. It was at the end of uh, probably one of the later rounds, maybe five, six, seven, maybe. Ten seconds left, and uh, Floyd hits him with a right, and then they kind of like you know hug up, and then a left to the jaw, and you see Logan go like limp. Yeah, He's like, his head is looking straight <laughs> He's down. He's a puppet whose strings got shoulder. cut. Yeah, <laughs> a puppet whose strings got cut. And Floyd, for sure, holds him up and probably whispered in his ear like, "Wake up, bud. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> and uh, and yet, I find that to be kind of cool. I find that like. Yeah, that means it's like the ultimate money grab, and yeah, they were just putting on a show. But oh, yeah, that's that, what, that was it. That's, that's what, what I mean. put it over the edge. That's what I mean. It's like that's what it was, you know? Floyd Mayweather, the, one of the greatest boxers of all time, was fighting a YouTuber, and that was what we put like, well, I think this was just for the money. Well, uh, yeah, once, once we knew it was exhibition rules and all that, every, every step of the way it just kept getting less and less of like a real fight. But to see like the opponent hold a person up. But I don't give – I think like – it was entertaining. It was something to talk about. I, what I really like is Floyd Mayweather, the, the scumbag that he is. The fact that I don't think anybody's ever been so about the money the way he is. Yeah. And he, I didn't realize he had this line. I just saw it the other day. He said, uh, uh, your kids can't eat legacy. <laughs> <laughs> or, or legacy doesn't feed your kids or whatever it was. I mean, that's 
awesome. The fact that he's like, you know, people are like just ruin his legacy that he didn't knock out the YouTuber. And he's like, I don't fucking yeah. care. <laughs> Does it ruin his legacy? Like fucking uh, yeah, you know, like get out of here. But you know, uh, Logan comes out wearing the Pokemon card. <laughs> Puts on a show, holds his Came out to the Greatest Showman. He came out to the Greatest Showman, yeah. which we talked about with him. He loves that shit. Yeah. Uh, took a, like in this case, you know, lo looks like he got knocked out and Floyd kept him on his feet. <laughs> but also took several other punches from him. In some, like, in some capacity, there were people who scored a couple rounds going to him. Like, that, how can you still deny that guy his credit? Yeah, you I know, mean, the fact that there are still people being like, this is lame, it's like, Logan won his fight months ago when this when this thing happened. Mm -hmm. Cause he and even his post fight, his post fight press conference wasn't about the match. It was about just doing it. He was like, "Don't ever tell me anything's impossible anymore." Cause I just fought Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> it wasn't like I won, I beat him. It was like I did this. I I had this experience, and that's why this is awesome. And he even says he's like, "I'll never know." Like, did Floyd take it easy on me? He's a great guy. Like, but he was just talking about the whole thing happening. His idiot brother is the one who's like. He's like, he won. Got your career. You're 51. You're 50 and one. That, you're being the idiot, you know? But the fact that he's just like, I, I, I'm here to entertain. I've only fought, I've had two or three boxing matches, and I got to the level of Floyd Mayweather like that because I'm that popular and that good of a businessman, all that shit. That's what's impressive to him. And Floyd's just like, I got $100 million. <laughs> yeah, so, like, yeah. everybody wins. People, you know? people who are trying to, like, I, yeah, if if you're making the argument that he won, well, that's crazy. But people are like you're like, well, Floyd took it easy. Well, fucking of shit, course. Floyd didn't fucking care. Like it's yeah, it's just cool that it happened. Right, like, like, right. I'm, I'm like, not trying to say Logan deserves a belt. I'm not trying to say Logan is a boxer. Logan wouldn't say he's a boxer. No, it's just he's fucking an cool that it happened. Yeah. It's like if uh, if like Jacob Degrom like faced a fan and like didn't throw as hard as he could and like he, sh he ended up striking the guy out but he like fouled the ball off a couple times yeah yeah, yeah. yeah i don't know he's like <laughs> yeah it's cool that like this the, a normal guy got to step in against the greatest you know like what jake is doing is he's fighting like you know kind of like tomato cans but people he went right for the greatest of all time <laughs> and got to do it from like an entertainment and a content point of view you know it's like we, we in the world that logan and we and us are, we're all in it's a big deal if you get to interview people like <laughs> yeah. that. If he got Floyd Mayweather on his podcast, it would be a big get. It would be like, wow, I'm really getting to the top of the game. He fought him. <laughs> it's like, how can you still not, you know? If, if, if Logan was like, I beat him and all that shit, then fine. But he's like, yeah, that was pretty cool that happened. And people are like, no, it's not. Okay, man, you know? Boxers who are saying it like ruined the sport. Bro, the sport's been ruined forever. Yeah. People who are saying that the... The pay-per-view wasn't entertaining. Floyd, when he fights other boxers, the pay-per-view's not entertaining. That's yeah. always the knock. There of was Floyd. like, I mean, the, the Pacquiao fight, like that was terrible. It. it wasn't a good fight. Every single time, people say I wasted my money on Mayweather. So now you did it again with Logan. He's a, a boxer who doesn't get punched. Right. They're not entertaining right. fights. Right. <laughs> He's a boxer who doesn't get punched and doesn't really punch back. <laughs> it is like jabs and, and moves. You know, it's like what? What the fuck else did you expect? Um, but. I don't know. We, we talk about this every time, too. How pay-per-views don't work every single time. You're trying to buy it. Like, we're the last people who actually buy it. Everyone else is so proud to illegally stream it. And we're trying to buy it. And every time Showtime's down or ESPN Plus doesn't work. And I can't imagine the amount of money. Like, last night, I tried and I tried and I tried and I, and I just gave up. I and tried, sure I tried, I tried, and then I stole it. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. <laughs> I, I gave up and I watched the stream. I, I, I very much wanted to buy it. I put in a lot of effort tried. trying we, to we buy it. We texted each other multiple times. Did you get it? Did I get it? How do you get in? And if, if we did that, there's got to be thousands more mm -hmm. at 50 bucks a pop. That it could have just been more money in the bank. Yikes! That is like, how are you like, not like ready? The, just prepare the, for the like, HBO stuff. You like maybe it's talking. You know, maybe yeah, maybe to get people talking about the show. Like, but when it's a direct money thing, no one's buying a fight the next day. No, it's you have you have your one window. Yeah. Just make sure your servers or your fucking computer farms or whatever the fuck can handle like a hundred times what you're expecting. Just fucking do it every time. It's crazy to me. <laughs> the fight game hasn't figured that all out yet. So whatever they made, you probably could have made even more. But but like but does that affect Floyd and Logan's pockets, or is that just Showtime? Like were they guaranteed? Were they getting yeah. guaranteed money, or they? I'm probably, sure they probably got something on the I'm back sure end. It's probably yeah. based on some sort of number of, of downloads, but or, or purchases. And now you got uh, what I what I do like what Jake Paul's doing right now. I heard him. He was at the Bitcoin convention. Um, with uh, 
Tim Dillon was like emceeing and doing like a, a set, and uh, Jake, Jake is now playing this angle of I am representing the fighters of all sports. Oh yeah, yeah. And Dana White is the asshole who doesn't pay them, so he's like, I'm just out here to show fighters that if you do it my way, you can get all the money in the world and you don't need a Dana White. And then uh, last night, um, Francis Naganyu was tweeting like, how the fuck did these guys? How did Logan Paul just make ten million dollars? $20 million, and I can't even, like, get the fight I want with John John Bones or whatever. But it's like, you don't have fucking 25 million subscribers on YouTube. Dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I know he stepped into you're your You're a good world. fighter. Yeah, like, you're a good fighter. He's a bad fighter. You you have no online presence. He has the biggest. Mm -hmm. Like, so it's like, you you are as, as better of a fighter as you are than him. He's 10x that as an entertainer than you are. So, I, I mean, I get what people are saying that, like, you know, those are bigger fights that probably generate more money, and then UFC just keeps all that money. So I do understand it, but it's also like Logan Paul and Jake Paul can cut the line and do this because they are superstars mm. and they've they've spent their uh, spent their career building that side of it. You know what I mean? So it's like to just say that these fighters, it's like I don't know. Well, then you go do it. <laughs> yeah, right. Which, which, by the way, fight, maybe they just, could just fight John Jones. Yeah, like I, I guess, I guess so UFC contracts Josh, preclude yeah. you, but like if they got out of it, and that's kind of what Floyd did with boxing. So that's what's funny is everybody says that like Floyd kind of killed boxing and like the sport started to die. I think there was multiple things going on. It was corrupt and there wasn't like a, a big heavyweight star and all that shit. But I think when Floyd like kind of took control of the game and just made it like all about him, it kind of like declined. If UFC kind of goes the same way. I, I don't know if it'll be the same like great product that it is. Like maybe Dana White. I don't know. I don't know where I fall on that. It's like I feel like the fighters deserve a lot of the money, but also it's like maybe Dana having the UFC be a whole entity is better than just like one-off fights here and there. You know what I mean? I would think it definitely is. Right? Like because yeah, like then, because, because, then like, it's for, a league. Yeah, because right, for every, like, for every Connor, there's twenty guys who need the promotion and the machine behind sure. it. And then you watch that fight because of the UFC, and you're like, "That was fucking awesome." Mm -hmm. You never would have watched that fight if he was just off on his yeah, own. Yeah, you don't. You don't so, get like I mean, there's, there's UFC every single weekend, right? You, and you, don't, you only get you buy it. one or right. you know a couple a year. Right. But uh, I guess it's just that people guys go out there and they put like their life on the line, and then they get a small fraction of the money, and people get mad about it. But it's like, but we need the whole league for there to even be interest in your fight. So I'm sure it's like I, if I, I were Connor, I would try and get out of the contract and I would just definitely. fight people. Yeah, I'd fight Jake Paul. I, I would. I would do if you once you make it to that level. I think like yeah, I'll just host my own fights. I'll find an arena. We'll do it all on our own. There's always somebody willing to pay it or whatever. But if you're not that dude, you need like yeah. a league of fighters. So I just think that people are probably painting Dana and and the league and the man as like scumbags. When in reality, it's probably more of a balanced thing than you realize. Where it's like he he probably should pay them more, as I understand it. But I don't think it should just be like you get everything, you know. Yeah, I th I think they're they're pretty notoriously underpaid. But right. like, but like, but I'm saying so that they should fix that. But I don't think you can remove the Dana Whites of the world, the entire league of the world. Like you need those things to have some interest in the up and comers. Yeah. I feel like I don't really know. That just, <laughs> that would just make more sense to me that it's like you need some sort of structure behind it. But I would be if you are the top dog, and you're like. Uh, I'm getting like one twentieth of what Logan Paul just made to like <laughs> spar for a couple hours. Like holy! But shit. all but like how, if you just objectively look at that, like it has to make sense to you. Like if you just yeah, like you have to be like, well, that person is famous, right? I am not. I'm, but, but, I'm just but tough. <laughs> that's the thing where it's like now you are famous. You know, like now Francis Ngannou is finally fam yeah. famous. But you weren't like two months ago. Right now you are. So go ahead, like go do it. But you also signed a contract where you weren't famous. It's like anything else where it's like, all right, play out your contract and then go do whatever you want. It's like Alex Cooper and fucking podcasting. <laughs> it's the same thing with fighting, really. So, um, yeah, it's it just it's funny. It's funny that, that Jake Paul is playing that angle, though, where it's just like right away on that that Bitcoin thing. Hopefully, like, hopefully they get fighters bigger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He like he cares about Jake, do you give those shit? people now. Yeah, <laughs> give me a fucking break, man. Uh, all right. So we'll get in. We have an interview today or no? No. OK, so we'll get into our uh, voicemails. In a second, um, but first we got to do our top fives. Uh, top five today is brought to you by Blockfolio, uh, one of the top five places. No, forget about that. Top one places in the world to trade cryptocurrency today. It's the most uh, easy to use 
and uh, an intuitive mobile app in the world right now to track and trade over 10,000 different crypto coins. You can get phone notifications uh, from uh, different prices and price movements. You have uh, all the coins and projects you care about. They'll, they'll keep you up to date on all the info. You can buy and sell Bitcoin and Ethereum, Dogecoin, the fucking eventually coins. Hoge. Like, can you get me, Hoge? Please, Blockfolio. We work together now. Like, throw your boy a fucking bone. <laughs> throw your boy some Hoge. Uh, and right now, oh, zero fees and every um, free, you get a free coin with every trade over ten dollars so they're just giving away crypto coins if you're making even small time trades download blockfolio it's investing for the crypto generation over on blockfolio in the app store uh, and you can download it for free today today's top fives are um unorthodox nap locations excuse me oh. unorthodox uh. <laughs> nap locations top five places that you can lay back and snooze uh, so what's unorthodox? Let's 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 say like, this. Like like, is it anything but a bed? I would think like like a good example would be if you were at the bar and you slept in the bathroom stall for an hour, which I've done. That would be Shout that out would Jackie, be. It. But yeah, Thank you. yeah. Do you see though? It's him. <laughs> it's yeah. him that you are like. Yeah, yeah see. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Sometimes when, when you're talking about Feidelberg's bar behavior and sleeping habits, you don't want to be in the same in the same sentence. Yeah, I, I fell asleep at Molly's once. <laughs> So and where did you fall asleep, Jackie? I don't know where it was. You don't even know which <laughs> I don't bar, know where huh? It was, but it was, it was a tough night overall. <laughs> and in my defense, it was like, so basically my phone ran out of battery. So yep. it's actually kind of exactly smart when that happens. happens. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of smart. Yeah, and I really wanted to go home, and I couldn't call an Uber, and. I tried to ask all my friends if they could call me Ubers, and they were all too gone to process it. Wow. So Talk about a wrecking crew. Yeah. Jesus Christ. You're, you're the group of people who can't are too drunk yeah. to function a phone. To get home. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, what did they all do when they had to go home? <laughs> they couldn't, really sleep the bar that they couldn't process. I mean, it takes what three buttons you have to hit, yeah. probably. Like push app, push push phone. Uh, yeah, like they were. All, I like would say stuff to them, and it just was. It was more just like they weren't processing what I was saying. Right. Right. Um. And so it's actually, you know how I talked about adapting, improvising, and overcoming. Yes, we got a marine. Have we said that on the on air yet? No. Okay. No, no. So, um, so last week, I asked Jackie to. Oh, um, so it was like Thursday night. I had gotten swindled by yet again another homeless man. <laughs> so the second time in two weeks that a homeless man like bullied me into buying uh, food or drinks for them. And I put it on my Instagram story and it was getting a lot of traction. So I wanted to post it on my like regular Instagram and I wanted a thumbnail for it. So I texted Jackie and I said, can you make me a thumbnail for this? But explain the time that you texted uh -huh. Thursday me. night. Yeah, it was okay. Thursday night. And At what uh, time? Like 11. For sure not. It was like <laughs> maybe nine. It w let's find out. Because it, it was definitely not 11. Uh, I will admit that, you know, Thursday night, you, you want to go out for like happy hour or some shit. I, uh, I, I understand getting a text. from like your 920. 920. 920. 11. <laughs> so I say, can you make me a thumbnail? Now, Jackie's out. And I, and I think like, so again, I'm asking for a thumbnail, right? And that means in our world, like, we have these great producers who make us like pictures <laughs> and screenshots and on Photoshop with, with, on with, their like, computers that they're near and, and fonts and all that stuff. <laughs> this was the this was the thumbnail Jackie made me. <laughs> she not, just went into Instagram <laughs> and wrote wrote the words and turned it sideways. So the homeless man one. And then and, and then she made this one with an opaque <laughs> background as if she goes, here's a couple options. And then the the icing on the cake here, she just threw this clip art homeless man in there. <laughs> Which is so bad I like it. Uh, that one's kinda yeah, good. That one yeah. becomes good. I remember being like, I killed on that. That yeah, she's like, I, I murdered it. And then was like, okay, 
I got it. Like, how about that one? I'm like, you're just doing the same thing. You're just using different Instagram fonts on Instagram stories. Literally anyone in the world can do this. So what, what else was I supposed to do? I don't know. I, this is why I ask these producers. Usually the producers do these things and make these things. And honestly, I, I would. I think I said, like, I would have rather just be like, I'm out right now. And I, I can't. Yeah. Like, oh, okay, fine. I'll just figure it out. So then I come in the next day and I'm filming her and I'm talking to Nick and I'm like busting her balls. And she's like, well, you know, I, I was out. And it wasn't uh, it wasn't the perfect cir circumstances, but I I just I knew that I had to adapt, overcome, and survive. And I was like, what? adapt, improvise, and overcome. <laughs> I, I, I adapt, improvise, and overcome like fucking marine. Your words over of here. affirmation. Yeah, it was, it, it's, it's it's literally like the Marine Corps like slogan. <laughs> so I'm like, what's next? Like Semper Fi? Like she's walking out of here like, hoorah! Oh, am I being dramatic? Am I being dramatic? <laughs> so. Uh, so now, so this is this is Jackie's thing: adapt, imp improvise, and overcome. Just, that is literally the Marine. Yes, right? literally. Uh, okay. Her father used to say it to her, like. But it's it's very relevant in yeah, a lot of situations. Absolutely. The problem is you you adapted, you tried to improvise, you did not. Overcome. <laughs> did not overcome That's on that. One. Okay, but at the bar, mm -hmm. I did. Mm -hmm. So I was tired, so I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go nap. So then I went into what the. What time is this? This is um. Late? Uh, I don't know. I, I, I mean, it but was, like, is it? Are we talking like wee hours in the morning or like no, eleven p.m.? We're probably talking ten. Oh, oh boy. So it's okay. See, that's it relevant was. because I, I thought it was gonna be like two a.m. The next night I was in bed. I'll explain that later. But um, <laughs> but so then I went and then I fell asleep. My phone was off and then I came back like an hour later. I just literally went into the stall and then I closed it and I just remember sitting down on the ground. <gasps> Are you sat on the ground? You sat on the ground? There's a seat there. Yeah, why did you, you sit you know? on the toilet? I obviously wasn't like thinking things through. <laughs> <laughs> fair so fair then, point. Yeah. <laughs> but so still, that's like, even in your drunkest mind, big. Like, there's a seat like, on the floor. I'm just gonna sit on the chair. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so, I'm not the bright. I don't know. Was, 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 uh, was uh, like the bottom open? You know yeah, you, okay, like so, if, somebody, if somebody were to look, they could see. That they could like, see you sitting on the ground. Yeah, the body. <laughs> they would see a body. <laughs> yeah, it probably looked like concerning from the outside. But then I wake yeah. up like an hour later. I felt great. Like I was so refreshed. Like, I don't want to go home anymore. Let's yeah. do shots. Let's yeah. go. I came back and all my friends were like, "What the fuck? Where were you? Like we thought you left." And I was like, "No, I was just I just took a little nap." And I came back. It was great. I felt like a lot. It's better. like one of the most reckless things a girl can do. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah. Uh, and then. And then the next night. And the next night, I basically was in bed by 11. I woke up. Oh, okay. So, uh, well, apparently I went. Oh, I felt that. I felt that in my core. <laughs> she went, oh. <laughs> apparently I went back to my old oh, apartment, apartment, went up. All I remember is my, the Turkish woman being like, why are you here? Why are you here? And then I woke up. I have bruises on my face. I think I'm concussed. My head hurts really bad. Wait, you slept at your old apartment? No, no. I just said <laughs> hi. And then I left. Did you, did you go thinking like you forgot you moved? Or you went like, I'm going to go say hi to my old neighbors? I don't old, know. Apparently, I was like, I just miss you. And wow, I just wanted to say Who hi. Who knew that the Turkish woman was really deep down <laughs> your best friend? Yeah, yeah. And then what do you think? I think, I think, that, cause I think that my friends called an Uber for me. Which, which the, the next night I didn't even have the decency to go into a bar and fall asleep. I just fell asleep in front of people, <laughs> and so. Wait, what do you mean? Like, like you didn't have a, a I was to go to the bathroom. Yeah, like I was so hanging was out table? with people. This was like at an apartment, and then I guess I just like fell asleep like I'm in the, the like mid like maybe hangout. you're narcoleptic. Yeah, I've, no, I, I actually, I actually think that. It's I think it's at your shit face. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's narcolepsy. Yet. Okay, it's well, so it's alcoholism. Yeah, man. yeah. No, <laughs> this has been like an issue. I think I have some kind of like iron issue. Oh, I don't yeah. Know. Oh, Once the iron go. deficiency starts coming out, <laughs> yeah, it's, she's anemic. She's anemic, John. We got to get more zinc and shit in her body. It's not the like forty-five shots you took that night. No way, Jack. Jack. By the way, uh, a little uh, switch of the nickname. No. Yeah, switch of the nickname for Jack. Uh, oh. She used to try to tell people her name was spelled J A C Q U I. <laughs> no. So she's Jaquie from My now. parents <laughs> named me that, and then people started calling me Jaquie, and I was like, it's not Jaquie. So then, second grade in the so middle. Actually, it's her I dumb parents' it. fault. Yeah. 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 So in second grade, she had to be like, this is ridiculous. My name's J A C K I E. Like, get the fuck out of here. Wait, you were, yeah. it was actually spelled that way? It was J A C Q U I. And Jaquie. then, and then I changed So it she's Jaquie from now on. Jaquie. So Jaquie. Uh, has been going hard here yeah. this weekend. Yeah, welcome to New York. Yeah. Right, I was gonna say you're, you're like you you lived here for a while, but like 
your Turkish woman days were kind of like they were you weren't really here. Mm -hmm. You know, now important. you're in New York with your girlfriends in the village. You're partying. You're sleeping in bathrooms. You're party passing out of parties. You're falling down and getting unidentified drinking bruises. <laughs> like you're in New York now. You probably yeah. have a concussion. Like, it is. That's, it that's... is like awesome how just like the after the pandemic, and I guess it's still ongoing. But I'm vaccinated, so fuck you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you're not vaccinated by now, <laughs> yeah. you're not vaccinated the, by now. The you're, pandemic you're like is Q over for me. Right? I have yeah. a vaccine. It's yeah. over for me, bro. Also, by the way, the, 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 the pandemic ended for us like in August. Yeah. <laughs> bro, we came back to work in July. <laughs> we, we we like just didn't. <laughs> most <laughs> most is... places are not back at work. We've right, been back yeah. at work for a for year. <laughs> For a year, a year. Holy shit, it's been a year. I've like, been having people ask me like, "Have you gone back to the office?" I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, July." And they're like, "Oh, so coming up?" I'm like, "No, no, 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 July. no July. <laughs> Like, I. This is where I think people are just such dramatic assholes because we. <laughs> Like, yeah, I like you. Like, you like, such dramatic like assholes. Stood up. I stood up. I'm like, oh my god, that is so hard to stand. <laughs> <laughs> but the fuck, first of all, it's hard to stand. So that's yeah. not <laughs> but like, it, it, the the pandemic was basically as dramatic as you wanted to make it. Like, we just just like kept going to work, and we just didn't make noise about it. Yeah, like I just didn't really wear a mask. I just didn't say anything about it. And then I, I got, then I got the the, the 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 fucking thing. What's it called? The vaccine, and I'm good. I just never made a huge well, stink about all of it. I I wore I wore a deal. mask everywhere I went, but it well, wasn't in the yeah, office. Yeah, I didn't really do that. But the I well, wore a mask when it really when like I needed to. But like if, if if I was walking alone on the street or whatever, I just didn't wear a mask. But I never like proclaimed it or did anything like <laughs> asshole about it. It's just like yeah. The uh, but I was thinking that like how hard people were coming out of it like what jackie's doing now in bathrooms <laughs> but the like airlines can't sell alcohol anymore because they when they brought it back people just got too fucked up <laughs> 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 they were like american airlines and delta were both like you know what we're taking the alcohol away from again <laughs> they, so they were just like people were just raging too hard yeah like people wow. were just getting too fucked up on planes wow more so than like in the past? I don't know. I thought. I thought. Or do you think they just took this opportunity to be like, we're not doing this? Shit I didn't even anymore. know anyone flew sober. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who does that? I, I was, That's madness. I was shocked to learn yeah. that some people just get, get on, on a flights plane. and drink waters. Yeah, <laughs> I get drunk in the bar, and I just there was drink probably there was probably this window of time back in the day, flying was awesome. Ripping saves, yeah. Or, you're, Full I, steak you, meals. You were, you were like walking around. I don't even think you had to sit down. Yeah. Um, you were probably just you were probably just like having sex. There weren't seatbelts. Right. It was it was a free. <laughs> they they were fully understood. Like if this plane goes down, we're just dying. Hundred <laughs> percent. And I feel like you like were taking your life into your hands, being like, yeah, this might crash because yeah. like we just invented this. Shit. <laughs> and now you can get on like a first class pod with a bed and a TV, and you don't miss a beat. But there had to be like a middle period in like the seventies and eighties where flying fucking sucked. Yeah. Where it was like now we have to sit down, we can't smoke, the food is shitty, there's no TVs, and you just have to like stare at the fucking table, the the, the chair. Yeah, you just you. read the uh, the vomit bag right. a bunch of times. Uh, that's gotta be the worst <laughs> period of time ever to fly. Actually, well let's let we'll bring it back to top fives. I'll just take uh, I'll take the plane nap. I think when you, if again, it's not really sober. It's not really a nap. It's more like a like. A oh, I disagree with the plane nap. Horrible place to nap. Yeah, yeah, but I'm not saying that. I'm saying, so yeah. All right, there's two ways to kind of look at it, like the quality of nap, or the importance, if you will, of the nap. If you have ever, again, this is not really a nap. This is like I took Xanax. <laughs> but when it's like wheels up and you're like, and then you wake up and you're like, we're approaching our final descent here. And you're like, oh, my God. Yeah. Like I literally time travel. I'm... You know, so not the – and that, that, that quality sucks. You, you try to do those things. You try to flip the thing, the ear, the, the head thing. You know what I'm talking about? No. The little headrest can bend forward. You didn't know that? Yeah, I saw a TikTok being like, I, I like thirty five years on this planet. I didn't know that. All all planes or most of them, there's on the headrest has these two flaps that you can bend forward so that your head can kind of lean on something. I am learning this right now. You've never done that, right? What? Yeah, <laughs> you've done that, right? Yeah. Yeah, I thought that was like when I saw that TikTok. Usually I see those things and I'm like, I oh wow, no I didn't know that either. This is a thing. Yeah, you, you guys neither. Yeah. I like it. It's yeah, it's not great. It's it's just like. You know, so your head doesn't fall all the way over. It just like kind of hits something. Yeah, I, I'm, I, just, I go through the window every the time. Window. Yeah. You know what I love, and it's ridiculous, and I'll never have one. But have you ever seen those triangle-shaped pillows that you put on the, you you put your seat down, your table down, 
and it's this inflatable pillow that's kind of like um, rounded, and you can like lean on it and just like go to sleep like this. The, but you I have usually to, like, lean have on an table. inflatable pillow. I just go table. Yeah, like all the way down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is so you don't have to go all the way. So there's no good way to sleep. It's certainly not an enjoyable one. But if you are on enough drugs and whatever, and you pass out <laughs> and then wake up and you're just like on the plane, Burke Reicher was telling some story about he did it uh, with going to like Australia. And he popped like a ton of Xanax and like slept through like a 20 hour flight. Yeah. <laughs> he got off the plane. He was like, what time is it? And they were like six. And he was like, oh, perfect. Like, I'm going to go fucking rage. And then I got my show. And so he goes out. He starts drinking in the airport and shit. It was 6 a.m. <laughs> so he went out and tried to go to a bar. And because, you know, it's still dusk. It's like kind of that same it looks out, you know. And the guy was like, the bar is not open, dude. It's 6 a.m. <laughs> I'm disappointed in Australia, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I thought you guys were cool. Like... <laughs> What's uh, Australia doing? Not having bars open at six a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Grow up. Nap choice. Go ahead. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, see, I don't really. You can just. It's just gonna be napping. It's gonna be on, on All right. Best, best places to nap then. Yeah. Like, does couch count? Sure. Okay. I'm not gonna yeah, take it just yet, but uh, I just want to know if that's where we're at. Yeah. Um. Beach nap. Ooh, I, I disagree with that, but that's a good one. Uh, I think that's like a dangerous. It's uh, very dangerous. Dangerous uh, sunburn but, territory. Yeah, yeah, as yeah, someone with the amount of complexion, yeah, uh, melanin you and I have, yes, it's a dangerous not great. one. <laughs> if, if, you're, if you, the day that you finally take the beach and the sun seriously, the day that you finally pull the rigs and you know that you're not tougher than the sun, and you show up with like a canopy and a fucking umbrella, one of those tents, you know what I mean? And then you're covered from the sun, then you can sleep, you know. Then, then yeah, it's like you get a nice on. breeze. It's it's when you're drinking and hung over on the beach and you end up just passing out on a towel. <laughs> yeah. Fucked. Like you wake up and you're like, I'm gonna die. Dude, I've I've done that. I did it in the Bahamas once and I was like I was I was like probably fourteen and shit faced. And uh and, <laughs> and I just it was only one side of me. So uh -huh. I just kind of I, I was on, I was sleeping on my side, and it was That's the worst experience of your life, right? It was insane. Like I had to have friends like massage me with aloe. Yeah, because I could. Yo, I when they do say anything. like sun poisoning, it's like yeah, yeah, your yeah. body is dying because it got too much sun. <laughs> like it's it's re it's rebelling against itself. By the way, do you know what a sunburn is? Uh, what a sunburn is? Yeah, like, isn't it like your capillaries burst or something? No, it's a bunch. It's your skin cells. This is probably true. Um, it is, boiling and bursting. It is, no, it's them committing suicide, so they don't get cancer. Jar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is. They are. They're killing themselves, so they don't become wow. cancerous. Wow, that's actually. See, I took it. Uh, that's good that I missed yeah, because yeah. it's actually. Uh, it's saving you. I also again. That's totally made up, but probably it sounds good. true. It sounds good. <laughs> yeah, it does sound good, right? Um, I'm stealing couch nap. <laughs> it's by far the best. I was only going with the plane thing as a segue. The couch nap is definitely the best. And I know everyone loves to say that the Masters weekend or when you're watching golf, but it's when when you're watching anything. And I, I mean, I, I don't even take couch nap. I just go to sleep on. The well, couch. that's the thing. It's almost like cheating because it's like sometimes you sleep at night. Sometimes I, you sleep sleep on, the I slept on the couch last night. Yeah. I sleep on the couch. It's like most of the sometimes time. it's it's a nap. Sometimes it's like you got kicked out of bed by your wife. <laughs> most of the time it's just like this is where I sleep. Yeah, but like, this is I was spot. watching a movie. I fell asleep. I was like, fine. Why with do it. I need to go to this it's, room and lay on this thing? It's you the know? most infuriating oh, he thing. Gets so mad when people it, wake you up. In the ew. my dad, they're, they're, my dad does it. They're looking out for you because they don't realize that you are like Jason Bourne. <laughs> you can sleep on a hardwood floor. Yeah, I've, I've most slept on people. This, I've slept on this floor. Before. Yeah, and this is like this is a, this is a slab <laughs> that's, of concrete with a little bit of rock coming in here. Uh -huh. <laughs> It's always jarring coming in here, and you're just, like, dead on the ground. I'm like, <laughs> it's not yeah. always. It's happened twice. twice. Yeah. <laughs> well, but it's always jarring. Both yeah, times yeah. it was jarring. But but most people, they fall asleep on a couch. They wake up in several hours, and they're like, oh, fuck. I, um, I, like, my neck is fucked up. I shouldn't have slept on the couch. So you, you think you're doing them a favor. Like, yo, come on, just get into bed. You'll be so much better. Whereas people like you, it's like, yeah. I'm just always in pain. Yeah, so, it like, it doesn't – it's not – Couch again, or bed. Right now, honestly, miserable. my fucking shoulders, my neck – my lower back, my legs are just dying. From watching hockey. I, yeah, I don't know why. It's like from, it's just it's from watching well, hockey. No, no, it's, no, it's been no, going on for it's, years I think now. It's tense. You're just, you're just always flexing. Like, Ugh. yeah, you're always, like sometimes those tweets come across your timeline where it's like, hey, like relax your shoulders. Yeah, yeah, like, I, I clench your jaw. And I'm like, oh, oh wow, I was oh, doing. Hang on, yeah, yeah you're right. <laughs> my whole body was like, but yeah, the couch is is the the the, the spot. Um, shower. Shower nap, <laughs> another extremely dangerous one, bro. I used to rip shower naps in high school all. Would the you time. like? I've sat down on the shower, laid down in the shower, 
I have really gone into like a trance in the shower. You go to sleep in the shower, like yeah. a running shower. And you're like, yeah. <laughs> it's not regular. It was in high school. I used to do it all the time. Yeah. I would bring fully asleep. I would bring um, like a plastic lawn chair uh, into like uh, like like showers after yeah, practice. Yeah. <laughs> People would be like, "What is wrong with you?" <laughs> I would, I would sit there. That's a move from like a seventeen-year-old kid. <laughs> yeah. I would sit there and I'd fall asleep with a chew in, oh, and so I'd wake up and I'd be just, I'd just have brown spit just everywhere. <laughs> Bro, you've been an animal since an early. Look at look at Jackie. Look at Jackie. Like since an early time, like an early date in your Wait, life. But, That's disgusting. But why? But why what? Why? <laughs> why did the whole thing, bro? The what whole mean, why to what? Thing. Why would you? Why would if you could nap like? And why would you choose a shower? I don't know. It was fun. I liked it. Showers are comfortable. Showers <laughs> are criminally short in our society. Yeah, yeah, like people like the average shower is probably like what, like three minutes. <laughs> like people take like a ten minute shower. It's considered a long time. I like to rip like a forty five minute shower. <laughs> I like to get out pruny, man. Bro, I, I bring can't. a phone in the shower now. I'm hanging out. <laughs> I'm like I can just be hanging out. Like so, seriously, sometimes I go home and it's like, well, I'm all alone in my apartment. I can like sit on the couch and watch TV, or I can be like in a perfect hot shower and I'll just like watch some shit on my phone. Yeah. Maybe right sitting here or sitting there. One of them has like a nice hot shower. That's great. Bro, I had high school like they they had to like talk to me. They're like, dude, like you're using all of the hot water. You've been asleep for two hours. Oh man. Yeah. That's so dangerous. Yeah. Oh, gonna, you, there's, like, you could just... drown, you could choke, you could, there's a million ways John could die in his high school maps. It would just be a fucking Naked, with a little pee shout, just getting covered in tobacco spit. Just disgusting. I was a child. <laughs> I was a naked child covered in tobacco spit. One thing I learned <laughs> right now. I need the one thing I learned of this immediately. And, and like, and like, like, like the guy, like. Like people would clean and be like, what is happening? Because <laughs> like I was like tobacco spit, sir. It wasn't like we didn't have stalls. Like yeah, I was just yeah. in a room. <laughs> it was like group showers. Like it just like, like give me like, like I, you went to a time travel. Like I would end practice and be like, wait, it's midnight. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I would have, I would have a hockey practice at two thirty in the afternoon. I can't hold it was pitch black. <laughs> this reminds me very much of Sweet D. Am I in America? John's like, is it, is it Tuesday still? Where am I? What happened? It's like, oh fuck, the dining halls already closed. <laughs> I missed dinner. I missed dinner. Oh man. <laughs> Shower nap, yeah. Shower nap, man. Good, man. They're good. I know, I know White Sox Dave's a big fan of that one. He he, he sleeps uh, hangovers off in the shower, but John's been doing it since he was 15. Um, I am going to go with a, a nap I have not yet experienced, yet I aspire to one day, and that is the Thanksgiving uncle slash dad old person nap. The old You've guy never nap. had that? I, I've never done it like that, no. Oh. No, I don't think I've ever like been the guy like you know sitting on the recliner couch like just asleep while the whole rest of the <laughs> fucking family is because I think I'll tell you why because I'm dumb and I had kids <laughs> and uh, so when I I was younger like it sounds like you could do this nap when you were like 17 <laughs> but me to me that's like an older person nap and now that I'm old enough to do that nap. But I have like kids that I like keep yeah. alive and take care of. So I'm always like, when you know, I've got my kids on Thanksgiving, and I've got them alone. I'm like, fuck, I can't go to sleep. But, but and prior to my kids, I wasn't tired. I, I didn't, I didn't want, I didn't go to sleep. Oh. So now I need to wait until they're like, I'm never, I'm not gonna have this nap until I'm like 60. <laughs> Someone else take care. Say of my what, you're kid. missing I'm, out. Yeah, man, that's you a are. great nap. The, I, the I was like in the recliner, pants unbuttoned. Oh wow, 12 years old. <laughs> 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 all right, you're up. Um, okay. Uh, all right, this actually, this is a pretty uh, specific one, but the post ski nap. Mm, Take tired a nice, as fuck. Yeah, a little, like the, before the, you go the, out to dinner. The but key to afternoon. a good nap is like you, you're tired. Yeah. Shit, and nothing makes you more tired than napping. <laughs> tired than skiing. I agree. It's actually probably why I uh, 
I don't know. I was going to make a joke at that. Okay. That's Did, fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's better knowing to pull the ripcord. Yeah. I, I, yeah, yeah. I was not going to be there. Yeah, that's fine. Just, um, I'm going to go with um, the uh, – this is going to be disingenuous of me, so maybe call me out on this if this doesn't really exist, but I feel like it does. Because well, when I nap, I'm done. I'm down for the count. Like, I, I'm not – but like the kind of like nap and rally is that ha- is that real? Yeah, yeah. I, was yeah. Thinking, I was thinking that we yeah. just heard the whole story. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I mean she's she's a freak. She's not she's just not a normal specimen, you know. But the like they, to me when I was if I would start day drinking in college and I took a nap, see you later. I'm out. I'm not. You're not gonna see me at the party. Oh, I but the, completely uh, disagree. Well, you can't disagree with something that I just I'm telling you I to do. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm saying like it exists. Yeah, right, 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 right. So yeah, the the, the guy who like. When you're like, oh, yeah, they're down for the count. Like, see you tomorrow. And then they show up at the party, and they're like, ah! Yeah. <laughs> like, the puke and rally, but the nap and rally uh, is I, – I don't have that, though. When, I, my, when my body shuts down, it, it shuts down. Also, I just – why are we acting like my bathroom thing's ridiculous when – the shower thing? Again, you're comparing yourself to John Feidelberg. <laughs> yeah, I know, but – Two things can be ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're both ridiculous. Yeah, okay, I will fully admit he's more ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. You, grown woman, in public, right I'm there, not. right behind <laughs> Yeah, not yeah. Yeah. woman, girl, yeah. female who's alive, barely. It is. Yeah, if you're a 21-year-old girl being like, well, John did it. Yeah, that's <laughs> not a good sign. <laughs> exactly. That, well, well wrapped up there, yes, yes. John <laughs> said it was okay, Mom. John does it. Uh, um, fuck. I'll snake draft it. My last pick um, is is the baby nap. They give you the they give you the uh, they give you the, the the advice when you have a kid. You sleep when the baby sleeps, and it's hard to do because babies sleep all fucking the time. <laughs> Never when you need them to, and always when when uh, you can't. So when you put the baby down, they stay asleep. You go to sleep. And then you wake up and you realize it's been like a couple hours and it's like the most sleep you've gotten in like six or seven months. It's like, <laughs> oh my, oh my Why God. Why the fuck do people have kids? It's insane. It's insane, John. It's so insane, man. I, I just had this moment the other day where I was just thinking about like the amount of money that the kids cost and the amount of money that I would just, I, I was just like, I would just have all of that money. Yeah. Yeah, I have these moments before the kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like it's just like yeah, it's it's a good thing to visualize. That's something they should do. They should sit you down and really be like, here's a class on like, are you ready to have kids? And be like, here's all the money that you would have, that you could have, that you w- will have, that you're not going to have. And it's like, oh my, oh my god, this is terrible. <laughs> and then it's like, here's all the sleep that you won't have, and here's all the things that you'll miss. And then at the end of the class, they'll be like. But it's really cute when they smile or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> and then there would probably be no humanity anymore. We'll just stop procreating. The reason why that class doesn't exist is because it would be the end of humankind as we know it. <laughs> but the baby nap, you wake up and it's like, oh my God, you've actually let me sleep for a little bit. Thank you. Hammock nap. There you go. That's Hammock. a great one. Hammock season. Um, Although, actually, I'm going to disagree. Really? I think that's a good one in theory. But I think... Maybe I no, guess you getting rocked like a baby. Come well, on. I guess it's all, it's all dependent upon the, the hammock, because I think if you're going like a true like fucking like a Johnny Appleseed <laughs> hammock where you like just <laughs> ring it up to a tree, I feel like you get like smushed up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When it's one of those ones that's kind of flat, and, and it it has like its own so its own thing, thing structure whatever. I don't like that one. You don't like that nope. one. You you want to be cocooned. I want to be. I want to be trees. I'm. I'm uh, <laughs> How often? Like, when, I'm, when, when I'm have an, you ever an seen originalist. That? When, when have you ever hammocks. been on a hammock between two trees? Uh, very recently. Yeah. Yeah. Where's that? My parents' house. Oh. All right. <laughs> Good. That's, like, that's like a last hammock experience. Yeah. Because I feel like my the thing I'm talking about is just like kind of a glorified like beach chair. Almost, yeah. You know? Right. Um, but yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Hammock, and then I guess my fifth would be. Uh, yeah, a work nap. We'll call it a work nap. One of, one of these. I, I can't, yeah. Yeah. Sleep work. Yeah. Sleep in the bathroom stall at work is always a move. I've been paid to sleep before. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, that, that's. I think that's most huge. people have been paid to sleep. I think everyone's at least taking a little bit of nap. Yeah, a little, little cat nap. Like, yeah. Most people, it's in the bathroom stall, on the, sitting on the toilet, not the floor, like an animal. <laughs> <laughs> the door, right? Or like the wall, if yeah. you will. 
Oh, I, no, I mean, I just come in here. But well, yeah, that's... I, I you're don't you're on the luxury where you can just lay down and do it. Yeah. Not, I, don't I don't think I've ever taken a nap, a stall nap. I've done... Those are great. The floor here, I did... You're real hungover at a corporate job, and you just... You're sitting there with your pants around your ankles. It's <laughs> <laughs> great. How is mine broke? How is it any different? Uh, you're in a bar, and... Uh, and pisses on the floor. Yeah, you're disgusting. You sat on the ground of, the, of, a, of, a, of a bar floor. Whereas I was strategically beating the man. So. <laughs> if you were getting paid to do yours, proceed. <laughs> there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's our top fives. Let us know top five best spots to nap. And now we'll get into our voicemails. They're brought to you by Tommy John, the most comfortable loungewear, underwear, uh, undershirts, whatever, in the game with Father's Day coming up. Father's Day is one of like the, 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 the holidays that in the past – We've gotten we've gotten the hose. We've gotten the jam job. You get your dad a tie. You get your dad a power tool. All the cliches, all the tropes. Get him something he's going to like and enjoy. Get him something he can wear during his nap. On Father's Day, I've actually begun... I, I, I wanted to begin a movement that on Father's Day and Mother's Day, you shouldn't spend the day with your kids. It should be your day off. Who wants more fucking time with their kids... On the day that's supposed to be about them. You know what I want? A day to my goddamn self. I want to have like a great child like me. Ugh. The last child I'd want to <laughs> hang out with on Father's Day is you. Uh, so let like how about you go with mom for the day. And this is back like if, I'm, I'm a single dad now so I get all the time I need. I get, I get my little like breaks wherever I need them. But if you're just – if you're living with your kids all day, every day, 364 days a year on that one day off – you should be able to just chill and do whatever you want and hang out in your Tommy John loungewear. Get on a pair of underwear. Get on a pair of uh, the, the lounge pants. Get the undershirts. John, what do you think of this idea? I think on Father's Day, you shouldn't uh, actually spend time with your children. I think on Mother's Day and Father's Day, it should be the one day a year where you get to not have to be on. It's like it's like a, like why would you? I think that makes a lot of sense. Right? Yeah. So, so get some Tommy John for your dad and be like, see you later. We're gonna go hang out with mom for the day. <laughs> it's Father's Day. I know you don't like us. See you, like, <laughs> see you tomorrow. Uh, so get the underwear. Get the lightweight, moisture whipping, wicking fabric. Uh, the underwear, the pants, the shirts. Like I said, uh, go to TommyJohn.com/slash/KFC. Get twenty percent off your first order right now. Order right now. Uh, to get it delivered in time for Father's Day. You can order up until June 15th, but do it now. Just get it over with. We know you're going to forget your Father's Day gift because you always do anyway. <laughs> so just do it now. Order the Tommy John, and uh, it'll get delivered in time. 20% discount when you go to TommyJohn.com slash KFC. Voicemails, let's go. I got my dad. Uh, I did not forget Father's Day gifts. Uh -huh. it's, it's the most dad gift of all time. What did you get him? I got him binoculars because he likes looking at birds. Okay. That that's the number one. <laughs> Look, she went, oh. Is that not the cutest like old man dad thing, right? That is it. That's the most dad yeah. gift of He's, all time. He loves looking at they birds. Love, Clem loves looking at birds too. So does Laura. She's like an old dad thing. I don't get that shit at all. By the way, I uh, I got through this podcast because of the cold water on me. Like I'm I'm slow. I'm I'm heating up again now. I was just gonna say it's getting hot again. Right. Yeah. But like we're we're coming to the end here. We're gonna do a few voicemails. But I think we're for the summer. We're just gonna have to dump water on ourselves yeah. for every podcast. I think I'm gonna do it right down the back right now. Just a little bit. Let's do that. Just a little. Oh, I don't want to go all the way down my back though. I'm just gonna do it. Like this. Yay! Oh, it, it's in my butt right now. Yeah, that's what I, <laughs> that's what I didn't want. So I just got the top of my neck. I oh, have cold. ice cold water going down my butt crack right now. Mm -hmm. This is my and new least favorite thing is you pouring water on yourself <laughs> and then your reaction. That's, that's pretty disgusting. All right, voicemails, let's go. Oh! <laughs> What's up, Kevin Fights, Nikki, Nick, Jackie, Zach? Anyways, um, I'm just wondering what you guys would do in this situation. Dump her. Um, so there's this really <laughs> hot girl that I know. That's, like, shows a lot of interest in me. Like, she wants to fuck me. Anyways, she refuses to wear deodorant and... I don't know how to, like, I don't want to have sex with her because of that. Like, it smells rancid. Oh. Anyways, um, oh. it's not, like, horrible, but, you know, it's body odor smells like, and it's not enjoyable to be around her because of that. i um, just wondering, what should I do? All right, Viva. Um, uh, fuck somebody else. <laughs> well, I mean. Wait, what? If it's just a deodorant situation, I'd be like, why don't you just be like, hey, here's some deodorant. Wait, but wait, no, why? Why aren't we just, be, like, you know, if that's like being like, oh, 
I want to fuck this person, but like they're really ugly and I'm not attracted to them. Like, <laughs> that person is just not for you. Yeah. That's just not the right person to fuck, right? I mean, I'm assuming she like doesn't. I mean, this this is more like if you have a girlfriend. Let's say you're dating someone yeah, yeah, and yeah, they yeah. decided to stop wearing deodorant and you're like, how can I politely tell them to stop? But if it's just like, I met this girl at the bar, she has horrendous body odor, what do I do about it? Like, don't be around that girl. Well, I mean, I've done this before. Like, it's pretty easy. What? You just take a shower together. I mean, I... I so like a one, like a one-time situation? Like, I want to fuck you, you smell bad, let's like have sex in the shower instead? Yeah, I, yeah, did. Okay. I did this one time when I, was, That's when, I, slick. when I went to school in Vermont. And we were, I took this girl home and... As we're walking up the stairs, she asked me how often I shower. And I was like, well, about twice a day. I was playing baseball at the time. Uh, and I was, uh, like, I was like, for sure. about seven, six or seven <laughs> yeah, hours yeah. at a time. <laughs> and, and, uh, I, <laughs> and she went, and she went, she was audibly disgusted. She went, ugh. And I was too much? Yeah. yeah. And she's like, I shower like once a week. Oh. And, Could you it, and this Could is you Vermont. Tell? This is Vermont. Yeah. Like, you know. That and, crunchy granola freaks, right? Yeah, and uh, <laughs> and I would just get in there, and I was just like, I was like, you know, it'd be so sexy if we because you, you could smell it. It was we gross. showered together. No, I just I could like I couldn't. It was just that you knew. Yeah, I just yeah. knew. And uh, so we get in the shower, and I think she thought it was gonna be sexy. I was like, this is a hygienic process. Like, here, you know what I want you to do? Put the soap under your armpits. <laughs> dude, dude, she was giving me a blowjob, yeah. and I was shampooing her. <laughs> like, you know, we got like, come here, baby. We gotta rinse and repeat, dude. And then people stole my clothes, so I had to fucking I could, like, like, the, like you know, like a freshman year of college, yeah, like people yeah. just come steal all your shit, and, like yeah. no towels, no anything. Yeah. And I was uh, was I this shit hot? Um, I remember her being rather attractive. Yeah, I feel like yeah. the girl who showers once a week is probably pretty pretty ugly. No, she was she was cute. She's a stunk. I, I honestly never even smelled it. It was right. just the idea it was just of it. That. Yeah. Oh, you pussy, I'd be gross. <laughs> Pardon my vulgarity. Jesus <laughs> yeah. Christ, uh, once a week. Oh, yeah, that is a sneaky Come pussy. On. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I never ended up fucking her. I just got blowjob in the shower, but. So I can't, I can't attest to what the well, okay, pussy. Okay, that, that does sound like what, you, what you, that you pussy a, did. <laughs> if you are in a one time bind with someone who doesn't shower and wears body, body odor, that's a great idea. What? If this is like a consistent thing, like you're going to be going on dates and seeing them and being like with them out in public and they smell bad, I think you just have to be like, the only thing I can see is if you're dating someone and then this is a change, this like happens. Yeah, yeah. And then in that case, I think you have to, here's what you do. Here's a couple options. One, you get her like a whole bunch of things, like a, like a box, like a little kit, like a little hygiene, makeup. Body, bath and body works like yeah, shit, yeah, yeah. You know, and you when you give it to her, you can be like, oh, I read about this. Like this is really good. This is really good. And they say the deodorant like is really good. Whatever. Also, you can do the like you can just randomly come home with a fucking stick of regular deodorant, new deodorant, and be like, this is the natural kind. This doesn't have any of that aluminum. You know that's all the craze yeah. now. <laughs> be like, uh, I, you know, I figured we should get rid of all the aluminum. Uh, deodorant and get like the new natural stuff oh and they don't test animals all that shit right say so all the good things and then either she gets the hint she starts using it or when she's like oh yeah i don't really use the deodorant you can be like well we should just say like well then we should and then you're just like well like leave the room what what a personality this gal must have on her right like you she guys gotta be, be something she's that's... gotta be hot and because you're you're spot awesome. on where you're like like yeah just it's just not a person I'm Go attracted to. Go to someone else. You yeah. it's like, You're oh, describing guys, someone should, I don't should, find should, attractive. Yeah, right. This person's like so overweight. What do I do? It's like, <laughs> that's not your scene. Yeah, like, like, <laughs> fucking go to somebody else. <laughs> You know? like, well, I'd start working out with her. I'd go to the gym yeah. uh, and make sure she ate healthy. We kept we keep a food journal. <laughs> <laughs> Count her points. Yeah, yeah just find find someone who does fucking wear deodorant. Next up. So KFC. Fights. Uh, got a quick am I the asshole for you guys. Um, I just want to know if I am the asshole for getting my roommate's mom to smoke weed. Uh, a little bit of the backstory behind it. Um, I guess she just found out. Uh, I don't know why I'm laughing about this. Uh, she just found out that she had cancer. And, like, obviously it's infamously known that weed helps with dealing with it. Um, and so one day I was actually smoking weed and she showed up 
like last week and so I was like she kind of like looked down on it but I was like like promise me try it and we actually got stoned in the garage, but my roommate found out and is beyond pissed at me. So I just want to know if I'm the asshole for getting his mom to smoke weed. Uh, let me know, Diva. I don't think there's a problem inherently with, like, getting her to smoke weed. I think that there's it's a little bit weird. Like, it would be the same thing, like, if I just came home and you were, like, having cocktails with my mom, I'd be like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> yeah. It's not that you're, like, making her drink. Like, weed is now... It's not like weed back in the day used to be like, right? You know, like you're fucking doing meth with her or something. If you came home and you know you and my you and my mom were just like, like blasting, breaking <laughs> off rails, being like, "So, what are you what are you doing, Kevin?" I gotta be like, "What the fuck is happening?" But weed and like you know mm. some white wine at five o'clock is like the same <laughs> shit these days. But more importantly, it's like, why are you hanging out with my mom? What's you're going cool on ass here? mom, dude. Yeah, I mean that's I, 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 that really depends on the like if we all. If we like grew up together and we like lived in the same neighborhood and there would be some scenario where we're all where you would be around my mom, I guess. But like right now, God bless you. Thank you. Right now, if you were to be smoking weed with my mom, I'd be like, Why are you here? <laughs> yeah. What's going on? So it, it all depends on the mom situation. But I've, I don't th I've definitely can... done. I've, I've had drinks with moms when my friends weren't home. <laughs> Pray tell. <laughs> no, no, it's just like I've definitely just hung out with my friend's mom before. <laughs> but why, why? I don't know. They're cool. Without your like, like your I knew friend. like like my friend was coming like home right. in a few hours or like whatever. A few hours. I don't know about a few hours, but like so you I got there was... a little early. <laughs> <laughs> a little early. Less, there, less some time. there are two moms in specific I'm thinking of, and they're just two of my closer friends' moms, and I'll be like, uh -huh. yeah, come over, hang out by the pool. Come male out. or female friends? Uh, one male, one female. Female, I think, is different. By the way, I don't know why. It is. I think it's a little different. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if better or worse, but different. I've been uh, drinking with my friend's parents before. Planned, like... Uh, like, when my friend's mom's was in San Francisco, uh, and, like, when I lived out there, and she and I, so like, that, grabbed I, lunch I and, like, So I can see drinks. that being, like, I'm in your town for a night or something like that, and we're really close. I've also, like, my best friend's parents, like, they just go out to drink all the time, so when I'm back home and I run into them at a bar because they go to the same bars I go to... Yeah, you just kind of hang out. end up hanging out with them, they'll buy me yeah. drinks and shit, so it's, like... yeah. I, so I, I certain, go to their house. Circumstances, I know. You, <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, that that normal thing. I don't do that. I call them up. I, I circumvent my friend. I go to their bedroom. We hang out. We take our clothes off. Okay. <laughs> no, I I think there's certain circumstances where it's okay. I guess there it is a little weird. If you, it, it depends on who the mom is. Like if you know, my mom is pretty buttoned up. If all of a sudden, uh, she's just like hitting the blunt and like. Although my mom, my mom. Uh, my mom has her, her a weed prescription. Oh and, really? And on her like on her grocery list on the fridge, it says like gro it's like it's like a pre printed thing that says like groceries or like to do or whatever. And she just on the other day just huge letters across the whole thing. Pot. It's like the <laughs> only thing to pick up. No milk, no bread, just go get the pot. So but that's all like a uh, little, little dropper with the oil. Like if I yeah. saw her like rolling up a blunt or something. I mean, what the <laughs> fuck is going on here? So I think it's all depending on the, the people, the mom, the friend, the circumstances, the type of weed. But my, my mom it's no big deal now. Got high once and dropped like one of my favorite lines of all time, which oh, is boy. she was she was my mom was sick for like seven years. She ended up having Lyme disease, but like a lot of doctors don't believe in it. Yeah. So it was like it's hard to get that. diagnosed. Yeah. And um so like for like seven, eight years, like she was just like always pretty sick. And uh, the her brother, who's my mom's like pretty much a straight edge. She'll have a few glasses of wine, but she doesn't she doesn't smoke weed or anything like that. And uh, so her brother was like, "This will help." He showed up with weed butter, and he's like, "This will help you with your pain. You know, all your joints are aching, all that shit." And uh, and she's like, "Okay, great. Like, I'll give it a try." She tried basically everything. She tried all. She did acupuncture, all the medicines, and uh, and he came back that night. But she had she had done a lot of. Did weed. she know it was weed butter? Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. Okay. yeah. And he came back that night to see how it went. She was just sitting in the dark, on the couch, hadn't moved since he left, and she just looked at him and she goes, "You owe me a Tuesday." <laughs> Polly, Polly, you ever feel like you know when it, the, the, the classic old right 
uh, right person, wrong time. <laughs> I feel like I wish I was 30 years older and I could have just been with Polly. <laughs> I wish she was younger, I was older. What a woman. You owe me a Tuesday. <laughs> Incredible. The great one. You took that Tuesday from me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last voicemail today. Uh, you want to get the real... The real Father's Day present, it's Omaha Steaks. It always has been. It always will be. I've been doing this promo for oh, man. Uh, I'm actually so straight. mad that I have to go watch a game tonight because I I got my Omahas, and I just wish I could just go cook up a filet. Oh, God. no. You know what I did the other day? I, it, this, this is the New York Strip ones. I just made two two New York Strips the other night. I was like – Two of them. I, well, I had, I had some like um, – it comes with the sides and everything here, but it's frozen, and I was like I wasn't sure which one I wanted, and then I was staring at it, and I was like – I'm just gonna go double the meat. There was no sides. I had steak with a side of steak. That's that's what you do. That's an adult move. Where you're like, I don't, no, I don't know about that. But I don't, I don't want the side. Like oh yeah, yeah. Like, 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 I'm, I'm choosing what I want. Like when yeah, I, when I'm I go, the trend here. when I go to uh, fast food places, I get two burgers. I yeah, don't get fries. Right, right. You know, I wish I could go to the steakhouse and be like, instead of you know green beans and uh, cream spinach and the uh, potatoes, just bring me two steaks on a plate. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I just had two 10-ounce New York Sorry, steaks, I'm paleo now. And I, and I was just loaded up with meat. There's like 20 <laughs> ounces of meat in me. I was like, yes. Because uh, we talked about this last week. The New York Strip is the under most underrated of cuts. It just kind of gets lost somewhere in between the lean filet and the very fatty uh, ribeye. And right in between with that perfect marble is the New York Strip. So this comes, this package, this Father's Day package, comes with four... 10 ounce butcher cut New York strips, four boneless chicken breasts, four Omaha steak burgers, three gourmet jumbo franks, a 16 ounce package of Omaha steak fries, four four ounce caramel apple tartlets, signature season packaging, and uh, four New York strip burgers for free. So this is the New York strip package, whether you're eating the steaks or the burgers, along with the chicken, along with the burgers, along with the franks, along with the fries and the tartlets. You've got those New York strips. So get out and grill right now. The package is 59% off when you go to omahasteaks.com. Use keyword KFC. You can just search for KFC, uh, and you get 59% off. It's uh, a gift for your dad. It's a gift for you and the whole family. Not only are you going to eat right, but he'll be able to man the grill and kill time and stay away from you kids. Well, you know, <laughs> it's Father's Day, even though you shouldn't be spending it with him. Uh, so don't miss out. Uh, it's it's Technically, it's got 20 entrees. So, Dad, you can eat 20, so much 20 meals. Yeah. Uh, and it's 59% off. So go to omahasteaks.com, use keyword KFC in the search bar, and get the Get Out and Grill assortment for 59% off. Last one, what do we got, Nick? Hey, guys. Um, I've been thinking recently that I don't think I've ever come across someone who's been watching porn, right? And, like, whether it be, like, you're scrolling through Pornhub, like, it's a video you're actually watching, and you, like, see someone you know, I feel like the best way for me to hear these stories, like, you guys need to ask, please ask your followers if they've ever come across someone they know in porn and, like, how you deal with it and what kind of porn they were doing. I, I feel like this is kind of like the uh, holy yeah. grail. I mean, I would love to come across someone I know in porn. I've definitely come across people I know in porn. What were they doing? I mean, I'll set three dicks in her ass. <laughs> <laughs> that was like one time very briefly she wanted to check it off her career box she did it i mean that yeah that's the only person i i mean yeah we've we've met now abella and phoenix and all them but i've never come across a, a, a normal person in porn have you amateur porn oh no no, no. Is that Someone what she's I, talking about? I think that yeah 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 i mean yeah, that, that is like she's asking us like it's incredibly it's specific i mean yeah. it's it's like if I if you had to ask me what is the most unlikely thing in the world, it would be finding someone Some, in porn. One of the nine people I know right. <laughs> do I, I, porn I, I, are going to appear on porn that I then stumble across. Yeah. Like it, <laughs> this, girl, this girl I went to high school with is a porn star now. Really? Yeah. Full blown or like OnlyFans? Uh, full blown. Like she's good. Like, like a good like she has like eight thousand followers on Twitter and shit. Yeah. And like it's weird that I still follow her because like. Well, wait. She's a full blown porn star. Good. What's her name? Which, who is she? Uh, her her name is Raina. I don't know what her porn name is. You fucking know. What yeah, I mean. get that the, was the biggest lie. <laughs> gosh. In the history get of the her fuck out of here. <laughs> no, I don't know. Her, her, don't know her, her, name. Name. her Twitter name. Her Twitter name is Queen of the Nudes. Queen of the news. All right. Yeah. I was going to say, we can find this yeah. real quick, but yeah. I still don't believe for one second that you don't know what her <laughs> name is. Like, I, couldn't, I couldn't find any of her videos, so I'd try to look them up, I don't think. 
Queen of the nudes. I mean, this that's to me like the holy grail of like you, you find a uh, a uh, like the a girl you went to high school with is that's uh, my roommate actually. His I think Wait, he Queen of the nudes six is... followers. This yeah, this girl no. they find her. My uh, my roommate, his I think he was like prom king or something or homecoming king, and the homecoming queen is now a giant porn star. It's Evelyn Stone. She's like actually pretty popular. I don't know her either, but I'll figure it out. We will be doing research <laughs> on these people tonight. Evelyn, I promise you what's that. What's her name? Evelyn Stone. Evelyn Stone. Evelyn Stone. She's in like the top Evelyn couple hundred. Evelyn with an eye, John. Huh? Evelyn with an eye. She is. <laughs> 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 that that broke John's brain. <laughs> oh, I will definitely be watching this. <laughs> Evelyn Stone's <laughs> Pussy Palace. He wow. said he, he said all of high school he was trying to fuck her, and then like she left high school and immediately was on porn. <laughs> yeah, no, she looks like she um, she's a go getter. She looks like she really <laughs> gives it her all. Let's just say that. Um, yeah, man. I like if I if I came across. Oh, hello, Evelyn. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Am I right? I mean, Finally realized where that eye went. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> John legit short circuited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just quietly putting eyes in random it's places. I V I V O I. Oh man! If I if I if I saw a random guy or girl that I knew in porn, see the beauty I think of our job, I would be able I would just call you out, the nude queen. Also, by the way, the the water, I have dumped water on my head three times, and my shirt is bone dry. That's how <laughs> that's hot, how hot it is in here. <laughs> yeah. And you got fucking Jackie being like, yeah, this is just, this is just totally normal. It's a totally regular temperature in here. It's evaporating. Yeah. We're like, you know, when you make those little ecosystems in, inside a two liter <laughs> bottle when you're in first grade, that's what we're inside of right now. <laughs> like bone dry. Crazy. Mine's not bone dry, but it's it's not super wet. Um, if, if, if we If I found someone now... That I, I feel like just like being doing this shit, like being an open book, everybody knowing my business, I would like shoot a DM and be like, "So you do porn, huh?" Yeah, like, I wouldn't. I would not beat around the bush <laughs> at all. I would just be like, "So what's up? It's cool that you do porn." If I was a normal person, I don't know what I would do. If you would, would you confront? Would you just sit back and watch their videos? Would you shoot your shot? Would you? I would just watch. Yeah, from yeah. afar. Yeah, just just, like just, just gawk and jerk off. And do, <laughs> yeah. Quietly. yeah. But that's totally normal. <laughs> we went to high school together. You know, science, like seventh period, junior year. And now I masturbate to you furiously. <laughs> All right. That's it for us. Uh, I mean, assuming that, you know, maybe I don't burst into flames and die here. We'll, we'll be back later this week. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube. Follow on KFC Radio. Follow Answer the Internet. Answer the Internet's coming back July 5th. 5th, yeah. July 5th, right after the holiday. We'll have our first New episodes of Answer the Internet. That's been the one real bad casualty of COVID here at Barstool. Uh, but we are back. We've already got a few uh, episodes with really good comics banked. And uh, right now, the Answer the Internet YouTube is running best of compilations and old questions and some of our hits. So uh, if you are not familiar with the Answer the Internet, it's all of our hypothetical questions from 10 years of the podcast put into a card game and into a YouTube series. If you are familiar with it, uh, you know, you'll be happy to see it coming back. Dan Soder will be uh, one of the first episodes. He's he's the greatest yeah. ATI competitor of all time. <laughs> so uh, you can subscribe to Answer the Internet on YouTube, and we're getting the channel back up and running. So in about a month, we'll be back fully. So subscribe now and get ready for it. Or else your grandmother will die. You want the good news or the bad news? Well, you want the good news or the bad news? Uh, I always go good news first. All right, the good news is when we started this shit, only 10% of people watching our YouTube videos were subscribed. And now it's up to 40%. So that's almost like a 50-50 split. That's a 30% increase. A little math for you. That's, that's the good news. too much math for me, but it's good news. You know what the bad news is? That still means 60% of you motherfuckers aren't subscribed. It still it's means good the thing majority. I asked first, because that would have been backwards. That would have been terrible, yeah. <laughs> Imagine if I was like, well, the good news is... It's, it's good yeah. thing I no. fucking go good news first. 60% still just freeloading off of our videos. And guess what? It's YouTube. You're all freeloading. It's none of it. Really all, the only cost is to push the fucking button. Just push it. Push the button. Push it. Push it real good. Push it dun, real dun, good! Dun, 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 dun,